factors affecting on antigen and antibody tests or reactions. As you know that the antigen and antibody reaction, they are basically being used in order to evaluate the diagnosis purposes. Means, when we talk about antigen and antibody reaction, there is an importance hai regarding to diagnostic point of view. Ke means, if there is a specific infection, then the antibodies will level increase. Kar jayega, so, we have just to find it out. Or, uh, if there is certain infection in which the antigen of that particular infection, they are going to increase, so we can determine that what would be the stage of the infection. So, there are certain factors they are being involved. So, very important thing regarding to the factor, that means that whenever antigen-antibody reaction would be there, so, we, we should know that we would be able to detect it. Ke matlab, kitni easily we can detect, because these are the serological reactions. So, serum may, agar hum antigen or antibody find out kar rahe hain, to jab antigen-antibody reaction ho jayega, to how we would be able to detect it means that antigen ka antibody ke saath reaction hua hai ya nahi hua. So first important factor regarding this is affinity. Affinity. What is affinity? Affinity is basically, you can say that it is a strength. Strength between the single antigenic determinant and single antibody site. Means jo antigen hai uski ek single antigenic determinant or antibody jo uski antigen binding site hai uski overall you can say that strength. How strong this reaction would be there? Is figure may here you can see that on the left side that the first panel it is showing that the high affinity means antibody jo ke yellow color may hai or antigen jo blue color may hai aap dek sakte hai ki jo antigen ka jo determinant hai jo epitope hai it is going to fit wo antibody ke jo site hai antigen binding site us may properly fit ho raha hai it is just like lock and key so you can see that there are certain forces are also being involved so this is called as the affinity. On the other hand, such kind of antigens, they have the highest affinity. On the other hand, you can say that on the right side, the antigen, it is going to interact with the binding site on the antibody, but it is not going to fit as compared to the high affinity antigen. So here you can see that the antigen antibody ke saath comparatively less affinity show kar rahi hai. So that means that it is the low affinity antigen with the antibody. Ab uska interaction bhi comparatively low hoga. So, so you, uh, here you can see that there are certain forces they are going to involve. Do, those forces can be attractive forces or repulsive forces. So, attractive or repulsive forces ka jo sum hai, wo is antigen antibody interaction ko maintain karta hai. And if the antibody has the higher affinity for the antigen, more stable interaction would be there. जैसे आप इस फिगर में देख सकते हैं जो हाई अफिनिटी है उसमें एंटीजन का एंटीबॉडी के साथ इंटरेक्शन मोर स्टेबल है एज कंपेयर टू लो अफिनिटी सो इट मींस दैट द अफिनिटी इज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर व्हिच डिटरमिन द नेचर ऑफ एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी इंटरेक्शन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग रिगार्डिंग द फैक्टर इज द एविडिटी एविडिटी व्हाट इज एविडिटी एविडिटी इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ बाइंडिंग ऑफ एंटीजन विद मेनी एंटीजेनिक डिटरमिनेंट एंड मल्टीवैलेंट एंटीबॉडीज Affinity में हम single antigenic determinant और single antibody binding site की बात कर रहे थे. On the other hand, in avidity, that is the strength of binding between multiple antigenic determinant. मतलब अगर एक antigen के उपर, there are so many antigenic determinant और epitopes, so it has the ability to interact with the antibodies. और अगर antibodies पे भी उसके corresponding different binding sites हैं, तो they would bind together. और वो इंटरेक्शन क्या हो जाएगा मोर स्टेबल हो जाएगा दिस फिनोमिना इज कॉल्ड एज एविडिटी हियर यू कैन सी दैट इन दिस फिगर सो द फर्स्ट इज एंटीबॉडी जो के येलो कलर में यू कैन सी ऑन द अदर हैंड ब्लू कलर दैट इज इंडिकेटिंग द एंटीजन अब एंटीजन और एंटीबॉडी का इंटरेक्शन एक एंटीजन है एक एंटीजन एक डिटरमिनेंट है और एक ही एंटीबॉडी एंटीबॉडी के ऊपर एंटीजन बाइंडिंग साइट है तो दैट इज गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट अब इस केस में एविडिटी इज 10 टू रेस पावर 4 व्हाइल in the second panel, you can see that there are two antigenic determinants or epitopes and similarly on the antibody, there are also two antigen binding sites. Now, they are interacting. So, avidity is going to increase. That means that 10 to raise power 6. On the other hand, in the third panel, you can see that there is the pentameric antibody. Pentameric, that is IgM. We have already discussed five molecules they are going to be, in, in, you can say that, involved in this structure. And as a result, there are 
similarly the you can say that more six antigenic determinants are being there and they are going to interact with the antibody binding sites so overall strength between the multivalent antigen and antibody that means that the avidity is being there so in case may avidity 10 to raise power 10 that means that it has more avidity as compared to the first one so avidity is being influenced by the valency of both antigen and antibody a valency is very important valency antigen ki bhi ho sakti hai aur antibody antigen ki valency se murad hai ki antigen ke upar jo antigen ni determinants hain jo epitopes hain wo determine kar rahe hain on the other hand jo antibody ke upar valency hai that mean jo antigen binding sites a first case mein you can see that only single antigenic determinant and there are the two antigen binding sites on the other hand in the last case that means that there are five molecules of antibody that means that 10 valency of the antibody is being there on the other hand the antigen is case mein jo antigen hai uske upar six antigenic determinant that's why you can see that it is being influenced the more avidity of the antigen or the antibody would be there that means that it would make more stable interaction so in this case jo ke last case hai jisme antibody मल्टीमेरिक है और वो मल्टी मल्टी मल्टीमेरिक एंटीजेनिक डिटरमिनेंट के साथ इंटरेक्ट करिए इसमें एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी इंटरेक्शन और जो कॉम्प्लेक्स है इट वुड बी मोर स्टेबल देन द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर दैट इज द एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रेशियो मींस जब भी एंटीजन और एंटीबॉडी का रिएक्शन होगा तो उसमें रेशियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि वो इक्वल है या एंटीजन एक्सेस में है या एंटीबॉडी एक्सेस में है जैसे इस केस में आप इस फिगर में यू कैन सी दैट in the upper left panel you can see that the antibody is going to access means teen molecules antibody ke hain jo ke yellow color mein hai aur blue color mein you can see that antigen aur antigen ke upar teen determinants hain so that means that they are effectively you can say that accommodating that antigen in antibody structure on the other hand in the right side you can see the antigen excess antigen excess means that there is single antibody is being there while the antigen has the two molecules with the six different antigenic determinants so isme jo antigen antibody reaction hai that is not as more you can say that appropriate as compared to on the other hand the lower panel you can see that that is the lattice formation lattice means it is just like in a, a stable structure like a crystalline structure so whenever antigen and antibody they reach the equivalence jab antigen aur antibody dono ki ratio equivalent state mein aa jati hai to ek lattice aur formation hota hai ek stable structure banta hai ek clump ki form banti hai jo ke we can easily detect and here you can see that so that means that larger antigen antibody complex would be there it would be easily to detectable ke wo easily microscopically hum use dekh sakenge it would be easy to detect it similarly another important factor regarding to antigen antibody reaction is the physical form physical form means that whether the antigen or antibody they are being present on which surface for example in case of antigen we have seen that the antigens mainly they are being present in uh, a particulate form means particles ki surface pe agar antigens present hain to if we will uh, allow the antibody its corresponding antibody to react with that antigen सो so, इस केस में जो एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रिएक्शन होगा उसे एग्लूटिनेशन कहते हैं दैट मींस के वो विजिबल क्लंप्स बनाएंगे जिसे एग्लूटिनेट कहते हैं सो दैट्स व्हाई दोस रिएक्शन वुड बी कॉल्ड एज एग्लूटिनेशन रिएक्शन ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ द एंटीजन इज बीइंग प्रेजेंट इन अ सिक्रीशन और सोलुबल फॉर्म में है तो एंटीबॉडी उस एंटीजन के साथ जब बाइंड करेगी तो इट वुड नॉट बी एबल टू फॉर्म अ विजिबल क्लंप so it would make a precipitate that's why such kind of reaction would be called as precipitation reaction we will discuss later on but these physical factors or physical state of the antigen is very important so that we would be able to decide ke ye jo antigen antibody reaction hai ye agglutination hoga ya precipitation hoga so all of these factors they are very important while determining the nature of antigen antibody reaction एंड इसके साथ साथ ये हमें इस चीज के भी इंफॉर्मेशन देते हैं कि हाउ इजीली वी कैन डिटेक्ट एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रिएक्शन